The topic of this video is identifying the real zeros of a polynomial function and their multiplicity. Let's look at a problem. f of x equals 5 times the sum x squared plus 9 times the difference x minus 4, which has an exponent of 3. Part A, list each real zero and its multiplicity. Part B, determine whether the graph crosses or touches the x-axis at each real zero. Okay, so as a brief reminder, the words zero, root, and x-intercept all mean the same thing. So when they say list each real zero, that's also like saying list each real root or list each real x-intercept. We know that an x-intercept has a y of zero. We know f of x is the same as y. So if we want to find zeros, we replace f of x with zero and solve. So we get the following statement. To solve this, we are going to write each one of the factors represented by this exponent of 3. So we'll have a 5 times an x squared plus 9 times the first x minus 4 times the second x minus 4 times the third x minus 4. Now by the zero product property, when two or more things being multiplied give a product of zero, then at least one of those things has to be a zero. To, so to solve, we set each thing equal to zero. So we set the five equal to zero, we set the x squared plus nine equal to zero, and we set each one of the x minus fours equal to zero. Let's see if we can solve these five equations. Beginning with the first one, five equals zero, false. This is a contradiction which generates no solution, and therefore this part of our equation generates no roots, no zeros, no x-intercepts. Next, subtract 9 on both sides. x squared equals negative 9. And by the square root property, x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 9. Now, you might recall that a square root of a negative is an imaginary number, which means it is not real. We are trying to find the real roots, the real zeros, the real numbers. And for that reason, we say that this generates no real roots. In fact, I could have written the same thing over here, no real roots. All right, third equation, x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides, we get x equals 4. That's a real number, so that's a real root. And because we have that same equation three times, we get the root 4 three times. So we can write the root, also known as a 0, also known as an x-intercept, 4, has a multiplicity of 3. All right, that's the answer to part A. List, list each real zero and its multiplicity. Part B, determine whether the graph crosses or touches the x-axis at each root. Well, we only got one root, and it's this one right here. And because the multiplicity is 3, which is an odd number, even touches odd crosses, we say that it crosses the x-axis at that location. So if we were to look at the graph of our function f of x, we would note that it has an x-intercept at 4, and that the graph crosses the x-axis at that location.